sometimes we get stuck in that idea of, oh, if I just make 5,000 pounds, if I just make 10,000 pounds, if I just make 2,000 pounds, it will be easier. But it's not always the case. It's not always the case. Because actually when, when the level goes up, suddenly we realize that we need more focus, we need a better technique, we need to clear some stuff. You're watching the Stable Business Podcast. I'm your host, Jenny Bush, and I'm here to chat all things equine business with a new episode every week from me, all the best in the biz. Now, before we get started, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell to be notified when a new episode drops. So today we're talking about new level, new devil. (laughs) So this is all about the challenges that come up when we push our businesses up to the next level, when we go to that next height. You know, it's almost like if you're in a video game, each level comes with a new set of monsters to conquer or yeah, something that you 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 got by with before, all of a sudden you can't. So in business terms, this is often referred to as upper limits. And I want you to think of it for a minute. It's almost like if you were jumping a course of show jumps, yeah, you're going round and there's a course of show jumps out, yeah, and you jump in them, maybe you're doing the two foot class, and you win out of that class and you've got to go up the next level. Now the jumps are suddenly bigger, but it won't be as easy as you thought it was gonna be. You know, sometimes you think, oh, I'll still get round, it's gonna get round. Because at that point, that's when just because they've gone up doesn't mean that it's gonna be easier. And it's the same in business. Sometimes we get stuck in that idea of, oh, if I just make 5,000 pounds, if I just make 10,000 pounds, if I just make 2,000 pounds, it will be easier. But it's not always the case. It's not always the case. Because actually when, when the level goes up, suddenly we realize that we need more focus, we need a better technique, we need to clear some stuff, we need to, yeah, deal with those emotional blocks that we managed to get by with before, but all of a sudden they're actually holding us back or they're almost pulling us backwards, or we get that sense of unworthiness or the self-doubt comes in and we get the fear of success and all of that stuff. So it's like, how are we going to deal with that? And and so it's something that's so important, and I've found it even with my own business. Every year I'm going up upper level, upper level, upper level, and, and recently I've done a big shift into the next level limit and oh my goodness the imposter syndrome reared its head again massively because again I'm in a state where I'm not in my comfort zone and we can't grow in our comfort zone so it's good but from that place it's like everything shows up for you all of those uh, beliefs that you struggled with before will often come back even when you've done the work to clear them you've now got another layer to clear it's like you've peeled the onion you were fine for a moment and then all of a sudden it's like the tears start and there's another one. So we are going to face those challenges and I face them. And yeah, my poor coach this week, she's had it all for me. It's like, oh my goodness, I can't possibly do a masterclass, which is crazy. I do masterclasses all the time. But I honestly said that to my coach this week, just to go to the show. Because again, all of the things uh, flashed out, I'm not good enough. What if they feel like, what if, what if, what if I come through as a fraud? What if, what if, you know, and all of that stuff. And I know that it happens with my clients as well. Like when we get to that next level in our entrepreneurial journey, that upper limit, that ceiling that we had, we've we've reached it and it's like, now what? We are vulnerable. We're in that place that's not comfort zone. So how do we push past that? So there's this really good book called The The Big Leap by uh, Guy Hendricks. I think uh, it might be Guy Hendricks. I think I've spoken about that before. That's a good book to read and they offer some really good practical advice. But things that I would suggest is to just have some self-awareness, have some awareness about that growth mindset, what you need. It's okay to be vulnerable. You can't step up the limits. You can't have the good without having the bad. It's okay. It's normal. Um, And get that support. Get that support so that you can push past being persistent in these in these moments of challenge because ultimately what happens is our subconscious is going oh my goodness this place is scary and then it will throw everything at you to take you back to a level where you feel safe which is wherever you were comfortable before which isn't this new level and if you've got that goal of hitting the 10k the 5k whatever it is that you're trying to do and if that's scary to you and then you suddenly get there your subconscious and your brain will naturally go, oh my goodness, it's scary. Let's let's go back down. It's so it's much safer back down there. Let's come back down. And um, yeah, and so it will throw the you're not good enough. It will throw the self-doubt in. It will throw every single trick in the book. And it's so hard to do it on your own, which is why you need to have that support. You need to be able to have that um, mindset practices when you need them. So it could be a case of doing some 
tapping so I've often spoken about this is called EFT where you just tap on different places and you just get yourself to sit with it and feel the energy and that I'm okay here because that can often help to reset things so if you are at that stage where you've got that new level and, and the new devil has come up like the things that I think are so important yeah, is to just remember that that is normal that's to be expected at every level of our business the challenges don't go away as I said it's almost like that computer game you get to that new level oh my goodness it doesn't suddenly become sunshine and rainbows that would be boring wouldn't it It'd be like oh yeah you've won and there's yeah go and lay on the things and we're just going to take you up no you you want to keep going you've got to expect the next level of monsters you've got to expect the next level of challenges and it's all part of the journey so don't be discouraged if you are at that stage embrace it learn from it use it as a catapult to to take your business to the next height but also yeah just be aware that everybody else has gone through it as well so maybe find somebody that you know that can support you in that so maybe it's a case of yeah working with me one-to-one -one. maybe it's a case of yeah just finding some other friends a business that that get it because again a lot of people don't get it and they don't understand how each level can trigger all of those things so that's my little thought of today <laughs> is to just sum up at new level new devil yeah the the new upper limits that come the things that will try and hold you back just trying to sit with what's going on why it's happening for you and being and getting yourself to a place where it's actually like oh, this is okay this is to be expected i'm at the new level this is my next challenge my next challenge is, is to get over this hump and so a lot of the time i think we almost think that we reach that pinnacle point and things are just going to be magical rosy in our business and they're not like say my client is max over six figures a year and she's still using me to coach her one-to-one -one. been coaching now for two years and one-to-one -one because she's like every time there's just something else and in order to get herself to a position where her mindset stays steady where she's stable and she's grounded and to be able to take her business forward she realizes the impact that the coaching can have and to do that so yeah maybe it's a case of listening to as many podcasts as you can at the end get get me in your head get me in your earbuds so you go okay what episodes do i need maybe it's a case of heading to instagram now and saying jenny right this is my upper limit this is where i'm at this is my new level new devil what what would you say and i'll create a podcast episode just for you on that specific topic so i've got a few coming up around procrastination around knowing if your marketing is good enough also planning 2024 because i know we do love to do a bit of planning but also this series is all about all the spooky things so we're going to be covering a bit more on fear of judgment fear of success and um, so stay tuned and i will be in your ears really really soon do let me know if you enjoyed this and i'll see you soon